What's up, y'all? It's your boy, Black Hour. And welcome back to another Black Hour's Beer Review. Today, we're going to be trying out some gummy beers. Ooh, that sounds delicious. Gummy Beers Variety Pack from O'Fallon Brewing Company from O'Fallon, Missouri. Missouri, baby, the show me state, so show me what you got, O'Fallon. Now, these beers here, you know, I went to the liquor store just now, trying to restock and get ready for my day. And I was looking for something specific, you know, as I do. And I got to looking around right by where what I wanted was, and what did I see? What to my wondering eyes should appear? But this delicious looking gummy flavored beer. And it's got this crazy package too with the multicolored things on there. And it kind of just caught my eye, caught my heart. Because if you know me, you know that I love them fruity flavored beers. It's my favorite thing. And right here on this package, it says, and I'm going to read it to you. You can read along with me here. Uh, trying to decide between seltzer or beer. Why not have both? Gummy beers pave a new path for beer drinkers. The flavorful twist on our classic beer combines a traditional and unique flavors. These beers were designed to be colorful and refreshing with just the right amount of sweet and dark for each flavor experience. Oh my goodness. Whether you pick them up for a day on the lake or get together with friends, any occasion is great for a gummy beer. Well, the occasion I'm having today is that I'm sitting here reviewing this with you because like I say, when I saw these, I said, I gotta have them, I gotta get them, I gotta review them right now. So, I was not uh, wasting more time, I wanna get right down dead. And, you know, look at the colors on these things. Because First of all, let's go ahead and talk about the flavors. Because I'm gonna be reviewing all of these flavors today. So, we're gonna try to keep it short and sweet. Real sweet, if you like, you know, you know what I mean. So, uh, let's take a look at the flavors here. First of all, this is obviously sour green apple. Bright green beer. I mean, a lot of dark green beer. Green! Interesting, man, because when I got these, it did say colorful on the package. I didn't really read the box that much. But, you know, I I didn't think that they were going to be this colorful when they came out, so I was pleasantly surprised. Boy, it looks like a box of yummy, yummy, yummy. So, next we have Fruit Punch. Fruit Punch color, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, strawberry Lemonade, which sounds refreshing. And finally, Mimosa. <laughs> I'm excited to see what that's about, because I do like a good mimosa in the morning, baby. So... Like I said, let's not waste any more time. We got a lot of beer to drink today. That's fine with me, but we got to get to doing it. So let's take our football thing and have a crack, and we will start off with the sour apple. Now, and like I say, this is a clear bottle, and it's got a good color in there, so I'm not really going to pour it out in a glass. I don't feel there's any need to, but, you know, I opened this thing. I haven't even put my nose close to it yet, and I'm already getting that strong sour apple smell, like a gummy candy type deal. Ooh. <laughs> Got a little skunk in there too, so excited to see what that's about. Oh man, Got it, like a gummy bear. So, let's have a swig. That's awesome. That, I mean, that blows my mind, yeah! So good. Such a good sour apple flavor with a little beer finish to it, you know? Because you're thinking it smells, and once it hits the tongue, you're like, man, it's just going to be sour apple. And it's going to not have enough beer, and it's it's too fruity. It's too fruity. So, no, not the case. Mm. Another. That is so good. So good. 5% alcohol by volume. And this is cool too because on the side of it it's it got it says sour apple tart, kind of gives you the flavors right off the bat. 5.0% uh, 5 IBU, which is I like that. I like that they show you the IBU. The IBU for you that don't know, that is this like the bitterness scale. So this one's not too bitter, but it's got a little bit of a bitterness to it. It's really sweet, but not like overbearingly sweet. Really, really sweet though. A good beer finish. Uh, ooh, one burp up, I'll give it that. And, you know, it's really good. It does kind of have a sour taste to it. And not so sour like a mm, sour lemon head, but more like a tart, you know. Kind of like a, you know, so. One more for me. Man, I love that. I love that. 
This would be perfect for summertime, which is right around the corner. It's already kind of hot right now today. I'm a little sweaty, so good thing you're not here to smell my. So, <laughs> uh, on a scale of one to ten, man, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it a nine. We'll give it a strong nine too. It's really, really good. You're saying to yourself, Black Owl, is that a sippable beer or a chuggable beer? What do you think? Ah, slammer, gummy, slammer. So, as far as a food pairing would go, man, I don't necessarily know that I'd want any food with this because it's it's so unique and so sweet and so different that I feel like food's just gonna throw off how good it really is. Now, here's the thing about it. Like I said, I'm a little biased because I love fruit flavored beer. So if fruit flavored beer is not your thing, you're probably really not gonna like this because the beer flavor, I will say, is light if not uh, unnoticeable. I know it tastes like a beer because I like beer. I've had a lot of beer before. I know what a beer is supposed to taste like, sir. So, but to the novice <coughs> drinker, man, it tastes like a free drink. I was kind of scared of that, but you know, to me, I think it's got a good balance. You can get a green head on there, sir, like a leprechaun's hat. So, good, good, good. Now, I'm going to finish this one off camera. Won't take me long. Then we'll come back and we'll start another one. What do you think, bud? Good stuff? Yeah. All right, buddy, we're back. That green apple, oh, it was good. Finished her off, and now we're ready for the next. And next, we have Fruit Punch. And you know, Fruit Punch with me is hit or miss. Whenever you get something that's called Fruit Punch, it's either really good or it's kind of strange. So, we're going to see what this is about today. Now, here again. Crack. And another 5%. Now, well, what's this say on the side? Of it? Fruity Tart. Okay. Real skunky. Not really getting any fruit at all out of this one. Whole lot of skunk. But that sour kettle skunk, you know what I'm talking about. Tart. So. Whoa, I stand corrected, buddy. That's fruity as hell. <laughs> I got to tell you, juicy fruit. So, man, one more. That's bursting with flavor. Now, this one here, I mean, it's got that fruit punch. Like Kool Aid, Gatorade, you know, the fruit punch flavor. But also something else. It's kind of like fresh fruit tasting, which is good. But there's also a lot of that, and I'm calling it skunk, but when you get something that's quote-unquote sour, fruity sour, there's two ways it can go. Like I said before, it's either the mm, or it's the tart, and this is the tart. You're getting that tart, uh, you know, like a blackberry kind of <clears throat> end to it. So, But also uh, a good mouthfeel, smooth, and you can tell it's beer. You know, it's got that feeling. That lovely feeling, baby. So, it's pretty good. Scale of one to ten, I'm gonna give this one a, a seven. Not, now I'm not as excited about it as the other one, but on its own, delicious. Now there again, like I said, if you don't like fruity beers, you're not gonna like this. This is not for you. But if you do, enjoy, baby. Now, Black Owl, sipper, slammer. Once again, baby, it's a slammer. It's light, it's fruity, it's delicious. And once you pick it up, you're not going to want to put it down. That's, that's just, I'm having trouble now. So, I want to scale of 1 to 10. Look, we did that. We did scale of 1 to 10. So, let's do the uh, food pairing. Once again, no food pairing. I don't think it's necessary because you got so much good fruit flavor in there. You don't want to go adding anything else to it, baby. You just want to enjoy it as it is. So, that's a good one, baby. But I'm ready for the next. So, I'm going to chug this one down. It won't take me long. And I'll be back and we'll do tres, amigo. Well, two down, two to go. So, let's grab my football here and uh, <laughs> kick off. So, next, let's try out that strawberry lemonade. Now, 
I'm a big fan of strawberry, I'm a big fan of lemonade, and you know I'm a big fan of beer. So, crack, dispose, smell. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, yeah. Got that mint made strawberry lemonade smell. That one smells damn good. Kind of almost like that uh, red cream soda that you get. That's good too. So, <sighs> I'm having a blast if you can't tell. <laughs> I'm enjoying myself. Hope you're enjoying yourself. And if you are, click uh, like and subscribe. So, oh. <sighs> good as can be boy strawberry lemon it says five percent five percent so damn good kind of like a pink color you know strawberry lemonade as you can see <laughs> I'm going it again oh man that's refreshing and you know, like I said, it's summer's coming, it's yard mowing season, it's outside grilling, chilling season. This would be so, 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 so good. As long as you keep them cool, baby. Cool. So, scaling one to ten, this puppy right here is going to get an eight. Good one, baby. And you know, it's of course a chugger, again, I think these all are. And a food pairing, you know, on this one I'm going to give you a food pairing. Barbecue. I mean, a good rib. I think that, honestly, some spice would pair nice with this. Not to say it wouldn't with the others, but the, the other two were really, like, strong fruit. This one's a little lighter, a little more towards the beer side, and uh, it's really refreshing. Whereas, I could see, you know, I'm a big beer drinker myself. Once you get into drinking the green apple or the fruit punch, you may get to, like, four of them and be like, Okay, time out. Just because of the sugar. I mean, not so much the beer, just because they're so sweet. But this one here is a good, good balance. It's beautiful. I almost won't cry, but I'll just drink. Which is usually what I do. Oh, man. Good. Good. I think I'll uh, drink this one. We'll come back, we'll do the last, and then I'll rate all four. So. See you in a bit. All right, baby. Last but not least, mimosa. And as you know or may not know, mimosa usually is the uh, champagne and orange juice. So uh, this here says orange sparkling. So I think that they've tried to create that flavor. Whoa, man. Kind of smells like Fanta. Remember those old, remember those old commercials? Wanna Fanta? Don't you wanna? So, I do. Wow, man. Fresh, clean. A little bit of that tart on the end. Very sparkling though, and very carbonated. Really, really carbonated. In fact. Above that. That's good. You are getting that orange flavor in there. And like I said, it's kind of like Fanta. Artificial orange. Not so much natural orange. But hey, it's good. Mm. Uh oh. So, scale of 1 to 10. I'll give that one a 7. It's really good. It's, uh,. You know, as far as like the uh, flavor, you know, the mixture of the beer and the fruit, I think it can have just a touch more orange. But for a mimosa, I think it's right on the nose, so seven will do. Food pairing blackout. Well, sir, it is a mimosa. How about some bacon and eggs? You know, it <laughs> just set it off right, baby. Get your morning right. And uh, say, good morning, America. How are you? Because I'm drunk. <laughs> so, uh, on a scale of, what, well, we did the scale of 1 to 10, didn't we? See, four beers. 
crazy. So, it's a slimmer. It's going to go good with some bacon and eggs. It's definitely a seven. Now, let's rate the others, if we will. Actually, one more. Okay. Gotta give it a fair shake now. Number one, and we're going from uh, well, let's go from let's go from least to best. So the least number four would be the fruit punch. Fruit punch, it was great, but just not for me. And it is for me because I'm gonna drink it, and it's good. But out of the four, it's it's the least favorite. Uh, number three would be this the mimosa. Just because out of all of them, it's got, I don't know, it's just different. It's not its not what, uh, I don't know what I'm trying to tell you. But basically what I'm trying to say is like, that I'm going to do this over. Alright baby, we're back. One left to go. And I've already popped the top and been drinking it because, you know, I got things to do, so. It, it, it's mimosa, it's, it's got an orangey smell to it, which, you know, mimosa, if you know about mimosa like I do, if you m -m 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 mimosa every morning, which I wish I could, but that la dollar bill, y'all, so. Mimosa is champagne and orange juice. It's a morning drink, usually brunch, you know. <clears throat> kind of like a Fanta. You all remember the commercials? Wanna Fanta? Don't you wanna? Wanna Fanta? Don't you wanna? I do. Wow. Wee. Orange. Very light, subtle orange flavor. Not like a natural orange flavor, more like the candy. Um, and that's the thing, is all of these, you know, with the with the gummy bear gummy beer theme. Right on the head, man. Because they really do taste like gummy bears. Uh, and man, a mimosa flavored gummy bear. Sounds alright. I'll take a bag of those, boy. And, you know, as far as like a mimosa, it's pretty close. I've had a beer mimosa too before, so. Pretty much spot on, Buster Brown. Good. Scale of 1 to 10, I'm going to give it a 7. Is it a sipper or a chugger? Slammer, no question. Food pairing. Bacon and eggs, baby. I mean, <laughs> let's, let's get some breakfast and start the day right. And if you have one of these, you are starting your day right. So, let's go ahead and rate the four. Now, we'll start from uh, we'll start from the lowest and go to the highest. So, number four to me would have to be the fruit punch. There again, none of these were bad. They were all excellent, baby. Exquisite chef's kiss. But, that fruit punch was just to me, and I'm not a big fruit punch guy anyway, so that, that explains that. But if you like fruit punch, go and love it. Second on the list, uh, third uh, in the rating, Momos. I want to drink it now. Not in there again, not because it's bad, it's beautiful. Love it to death. But compared to the other two, that's where it ranks. I mean, what are you going to do? When you, when you, It's like the All-Stars, man. When you have the NBA All-Stars, you got to do the ranking. So-and-so's uh, always going to be great, and so is this person and that person and that one, and they're all wonderful at dropping back and shooting the three, but you're going to have the best and the best of the best, and that's pretty much what these are because these are great, man. Oh, Fallon, I get to hand it to you, buddy boy. I'm going to come down to that factory and <laughs> give me some more because that's the thing about it. I found this off chance, and I'm terrified that I'll never see it again. It's kind of like the white whale or some mystery thing like Sasquatch. So, this was three, two, that strawberry lemonade. That stuff was good, man. And I mean good. I would love to see, I would love to see all of these in six packs or 12 packs of their own. Beautiful. Probably get me in a lot of trouble, but you know me. I'm, uh... I'm always doing something. So, <laughs> and number one, of course, the the green apple. The green apple to me was the one that I had. The color caught me, the flavor caught me, the taste got me, the smell got me. It was just an all around exciting. And that's the thing about these. You get so used to drinking Budweiser and all kinds of standard things, natural light, and this is exciting. This is new, exciting, and brand new. So, just good. 
and I've had a good time reviewing them. And I hope you've had a good time watching Black Owls Beer Review. You make sure to like and subscribe and follow me on social media. You can also watch all my other beer reviews right here on my YouTube channel. Now, y'all have a good one. Enjoy those gummy beers, and I'll see you next time.